Jack is here with me. I'm Woo! Coach Elena. We're going to give you guys a little bit of time to get us up on your screen. Um, so you can put us on the big TV in your living room to do your workout today. Um, so a couple of reminders before we get started. Make sure you kind of clear some space in your living room or maybe go outside if it's starting to get nice and cool. Um, we want to make sure we have plenty of space to move for today's class. So we got, again, we have total body burn, so we're going to get in that full body. We've got some cardio moves, but we're going to go side to side, so make sure you got plenty of space. Um, also, our waiver. So if you're um, not a member of Team K Fitness and choose to do this workout, please do so at your own risk. We are so excited to have you here with us, and we hope you have a great workout today. Mm. Woo! Okay. Um, so we're going to be going through a wonderful push, combo move, pull, and cardio for our circuits today. So the first round, we're going to go through 12 reps. So a couple things before we get into our warm-up and um, begin our workout session. I want to make sure you've got some equipment with you. So you can either use a um, band with the handles, okay, a loop band. If you have a mini band at home instead, I'm going to show you how to use that as your option of exercises as well. Um, if you've got some dumbbells, grab some light dumbbells. And a, we're going to be using the kettlebell, but you can use a dumbbell instead of the kettlebell for the exercise we're doing. Coach Jack, are you ready to get started? Let's get it rolling. Woo! All right, and we're in our lovely new virtual space. Comment below. Let us know what you guys think. We're excited to be in here. We've got a nice little, we're nice and loud, which is fun, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's start with some more exercises. We're going to go ahead and grab that band to start with. You also can use a broomstick if you have broomstick at home for these moves. But the band's gonna give us a little bit more freedom here. We're gonna loop it around one time. We're gonna do an overhead pull down. So we're gonna bring it over the head, bring it back behind, and give it a nice little pull, like a lap pull down, and bring it back to the front. So just nice and easy, we're gonna flow through this movement. We're opening up the chest and those shoulders. As you pull that band back, I want you to get the, your lats ready. So Jack, you care to face this ca uh, camera for me? Sorry, you face, you? <laughs> face the wall. I'll face the wall. Well, I want you to see your back. So when you're doing a nice little lat pull down, he's really packing those shoulders, bringing them back, really getting a good squeeze of those lats. Thank you, Jack. Woo. All right, let's do two more together. Nice big pull, deep breath in, and bring it down nice and easy. Wonderful. Okay, so keep that band roughly the same length, okay? We're going to take it over to one side of the body. So let's start on your right side. Let's pack those shoulders back and down our back pockets. We're going to bring the arms up, keeping it packed to the other side, okay? So keep those shoulder blades back behind you the whole time. We don't want them to move. So go ahead and engage that core here. Keep those knees soft. Jack, it's a little harder than it looks. No, not at all. <laughs> Feels good. If you need a little extra tension, you can pull that band. You can even bring those hands a little closer. This is a really great move to get those shoulders ready, get those mid traps. Lats, lower traps active. Last one on this other side. I can feel some burning in there, though. Feel some what? I can feel some burning in there. Ooh, I know. Get, getting you ready, getting you active. All right, we're going to set that band down. We're going to move into a nice little quad hamstring primer. So I'm going to face the side so you guys can see me here. I'm going to reach out towards my toes and we're going to send those hips down. Nice little squat. Then we're going to bring the hips up. So we're just going to flow through that a few times. I want you to send those hips back, bring those hips back and down. We're going to work on the ankle flexibility a little bit here as well. Also get those hips warm. Send those hips to the ceiling. Get that, get that nice stretch out those hamstrings and your calves. Bring it back down. Hope you guys are feeling wonderful today. You guys are ready to get moving. I got some Christmas colors going on here today. So hopefully you guys get you in a little spirit today. Last uh, one here. Huh? I, however, am in the opposite color. You, you of are almost, well, almost Halloween ish because you got some orange on those laces and the, and the purple on the back. It's for a holiday today. All right. Uh, get dynamic, a little more movement here. So now we've created some heat throughout the body. Let's do some clock lunges. So we're going to start with that um, right leg forward for a front lunge. We're going to come to the right for a side lunge. Mm. Woo! Reverse. Big step back, straight down. Let's reverse on the other leg. So straight back down, left side, left side lunge. Push through that heel, midfoot to push you back up. Forward lunge again. Let's go through one more time. So go ahead and add those arms there for a little pump here. Keep that core tight, chest lifted. You got it. Reverse. Other side. 
and left lunge. There we go. And final one, push off that front midfoot. Woo, bring it back in. Awesome work. All right, so our first exercise. So remember, we've got a push, we've got a combo move, okay, for the lower upper body. We've got a pull and a cardio move. This first round, we've got 12 reps of everything. So we're gonna start with a diamond push-up. So we're gonna come on down to your mat. We've got a mat, remember, get some, clear some space out here. We're gonna take those hands, okay? We're gonna kind of screw them into the ground. We are gonna do a little bit closer of a grip so we can get those triceps burning here. So screw those hands in, get that index finger forward, elbows close to the body. We can have those toes or those knees, okay? And we're gonna keep those elbows in. That a little more tricep right through here. We've got 12 reps together. Ready? Set, here we go. So push down, bring it up. So our goal here is try to push that floor away, leading with the chest, evening our weight distribution on our hands, so spreading those fingertips out is gonna help you balance that weight. Take some pressure off the wrist. Take some nice deep breaths in. Exhale on that push. We got two left, you got this. And bring it up, nice work. We're gonna slowly come up nice and easy. Grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell. We've got a sumo squat with a high pull. So those toes are gonna to be pointing towards, away from the body just a little bit. Knees are gonna come in the same direction. We're gonna send those hips back first, to so squat, pull that weight up. So in that upright row, the so Jack, I'm gonna have you face the wall here for me. This wall. Woo, yes, I'm gonna start using my hands for some direction. When he comes to that upright row, he's bringing that weight back up towards the corner of the ceiling, okay? So kind of bring it up and back at an angle, get those traps, take some pressure off the front of your shoulder. We've got 12 reps here as well. If you want to use one dumbbell, you can alternate, do six on the left and six on the right. So I'm gonna use my dumbbell like you guys at home, or if you got a kettlebell, grab it like Jack. we got six each side, or 12 total. Ready, set, and go. Those hips come back. Get that nice, strong, upright row. So this is your combo move. Full body. Woo, nice little push and pull right here. Oh yeah, push with the there legs. There we go. Pull with the upper. Just the Nice job. Draw that belly button in towards the spine. Remember, you got that drawstring back behind you. Pull it. All right, switch sides. Jack, you're doing a great job keeping that kettlebell moving. Nice little solid flow. Gotta stay flowy with the transfer of power. Use that full body. Last one. There it is. All right. So now we've got our row, or sorry, pull specific move. So we're gonna do a row. You can use your dumbbells. You can use your resistance band, which Jack's gonna use. I'm also gonna show if you have a mini band instead of a resistance band at home. So, so Jack's gonna place his closest foot onto the band, the same hand's gonna row. So that foot is forward, he's got his hand right in the eyes, outside of that foot, and he's gonna row, pull him back, bring that elbow again towards kind of the corner of the ceiling, squeeze and try to pull that shoulder blade to the other side. So if you have a mini band, we're essentially doing the same thing. Put the band in the midfoot, we're actually gonna grab with the opposite hand though to do our row so we can get a really good angle in this row position. Be careful not to let that shoulder round forward. Keep it back and packed and pull nice and tight, okay? We've got 12 each side. You guys ready? All right, in three, two, and one. Here we go. So don't be afraid to support yourself. A little bit on that leg if you need to. Keep that core tight. There it is. We are halfway. So still focusing on your breath work. Squeeze those lats, guys. Pack that shoulder blade down and back. Last one. Perfect. All right, switch it up. All right, so bring it up nice and easy. Take a big step back, okay? Soft knee, that shoulder back. All right. 12 reps, three, two, and go. Row it back. Really work on pulling that, almost like you're starting a lawnmower. We're pulling it back. Give them some good, nice squeezes, nice big pull right here. There it is. All right, give 
Give me three more. Final rep. There it is. Great job. All right, we're going to set that band down. We've got our cardio move. We've got some skaters side to side, okay? Jack's going to show you the option one. He's going to step it side to side, making sure you're pressing through that midfoot to transfer that weight. Get some nice glute medius work, okay? So to take that up, we're going to add a hop. You also can reach down and try to get further away to increase this move. So I'm going to let you choose that option in your home. We've got 12 reps, okay? We're going to do 12 each side. You guys ready? Okay. Set and go. So what's nice about this is you can really work at your own pace. Good, so keeping that weight and that front leg, make sure you're keeping that knee over that ankle as well. Jack, where are you at? I don't know, I'm up there. It's supposed to be about <laughs> eight. I've got one more each side. Woo, all right, bring it in. So if you had that little extra little burst cardio, you get a little, little, little longer break with Jack. Okay. <laughs> All right, so keep moving side to side. So this next round, we're gonna go straight to each move. This time we're going for time. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds. So I want you guys to count. I want you to see how many reps you can get in your 30 seconds for each move. We're gonna start with that push up, move into our sumo squat to high pull. These are our first two pieces, okay? Let's get back in that push up position. Remember, 30 seconds each. You got this in three, two, and go. I'm screwing those hands into the ground. Put some weight on all those fingertips and the pads of your fingers here. Spread it out. Take some pressure off that wrist. If you're pushing that floor away from you, you should be feeling this in your chest. Look at those shoulders and your triceps. How you doing, Jack? I'm doing well. Where are we at on time? Doing there? great. We're almost there. In three, two, and one. Well, Jack, how many reps did you get in 30 seconds? I think it was about 15. Ooh, okay. So we got a few more repetitions in there. All right, so keep track. All right. Squats, high pull. Move number two, 30 seconds. Three, two, here we go. So in that sumo squat, those toes are out to the sides a little bit. The knee is falling the same direction as those toes. Remember, you can alternate those arms. 15 seconds in, I'll let you know when you can switch if you're using that dumbbell at home. You also can piece this together. You can do the sumo squat, come up, and then pull. That option is up to you. In three, two, and one. All right, Jack, whatever we get on this round. I think it was about 16. 16, okay. So we're going up a little bit on those reps. All right, alternate rows. So this is 30 seconds each side. So you can use your dumbbell, you can use your mini band, you can use your um, big loop resistance band with those handles. I'm gonna show you guys with the dumbbell this time. We've got 12 each side. So you get a nice little stagger stance, okay? Support yourself on that bent leg. 30 seconds, ready, set, and go. So remember, pulling back towards the corner of that ceiling. Give me a nice strong pull right here. Squeeze. That core is still activated. We got a nice hinge in that hip. So when you come down a row, guiding the hands down towards where your knees are is a great starting position to help guide you in the right spot. Finish strong here on that time. In three, two, and one. Well, Jack, how do we do? 18. Ooh, okay. Let's go, stepping it up. <laughs> well, so let's see if you get 18 on this left side. I'm Gotta make it even. All right, shoulders back. Three, two, and go. You've got it. So, a nice little tip here for your neck in case you're looking at us a little too much, get a little more comfortable. Let your eyes be an extension of your spine. So, you don't want to be looking up towards the ceiling. We don't want to be Bending down, tucking that chin. So keep those eyes straight ahead. There it is. Eight seconds. Come on, pull that band, pull that dumbbell back, squeeze it out. Get that burn, get that sweat going, and time. Imagine up, 
Do it from the other team. Woo -woo. Okay, good. All right, it means we're consistent. That's good. Yeah. Okay, Balance. so skaters, 30 seconds. All right, three, two, and go. So this one, Jack and I are going to match that same Whoa. time. Woo, are we get close? You jinxed us. <laughs> keep it going. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our mats are a little, they're a little sticky. <laughs> so definitely, where you're at is key. Clear your space. There we go. Pushing off that midfoot, transferring over. Knee over that ankle. Three, two, one. Great work. Woo. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to bring up some new moves. Same round. So, so number of reps, 12, followed by 30 seconds for round two. So we're going to start the walking plank for our push. So we're going to come back down to our mat. We'll grab some water here, towel off if you need to. Hop back in with us when you're ready. So you can inch on down to your mat or you can come on down nice and easy. That walking plank, again, you can be on those knees or those toes. The wider those feet are and the knees, the more stability you're going to have. We're going to do a walking plank. We're going to walk those hands down to the forearms. Push yourself up. So walking it down, pressing up. The key here is to keep those hips square to the floor. So if you start to notice your hips shift, and you're not able to keep your core strong, come to those knees, get that stability. We want these to be nice and strong. We don't want to hurt the back, okay? So 12 reps, we're gonna do six on each side. So we're gonna leave the right hand six times. I'm gonna tell you to switch that left six times. All right, let's start with our move number one, our push. Ready, set, and go. So we're walking down nice and gentle, push it up. So again, we're getting nice, good chest work, getting the shoulders, getting those triceps. So six each side leading. So get that core nice and tight, protect that low back. Let's switch it up, left arm down. So left down, right up. There it is. Push that floor away. Oh, yeah. Woo! Last one. And bring it up nice and easy. Nice job. Jack, do you like push ups better or walking planks better? For oh, your dear. Upper push? They're both very challenging, okay. but I think I'll have to go with push ups. Okay. Where we got okay. the walking planks. Hmm. Huh? But still, <laughs> we must do the walking planks. <laughs> you gotta have a little variety. All right, so next up, we got our combo. So we're gonna do a reverse lunge with a curl. So one single dumbbell, okay? I'm gonna show you from the side here first. Whichever leg is coming behind, okay? So say my right leg is coming back for lunge first on that nice little train track we got here. Your left arm is gonna curl, okay? So opposite hand is gonna curl. You get a little close up here. We got six on the right. Six on the left, okay? So then we'll switch it up. All right, you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Set. Here we go. It's a big step back. Give me that nice bicep curl. So that legs come back on that train track. Slide it back. 90 degree angles. And that back leg and that front leg. You got it. This Last kind of, one. This kind of works your brain too, doesn't Ooh, it? Ooh, it's, like, it's like that little pat your head, rub your belly move. Yeah. All right, switch it up. Great point, Jack. We sometimes have to do a little muscle confusion work the brain and the body at the same time. Makes it a little bit more fun. Last one right here. Great work, you guys. All right, let's grab that band again. For nice, we're gonna do a little band pull apart for our next move. All right, so we're gonna wrap it around your hands, so that way we don't have these handles hit us in the head, okay? <laughs> Careful, Jeff. All right, so the closer your hands are together on the band, the harder it's gonna be. So it may take a little bit to find the sweet spot for this resistance. So again, shoulders back and down, knees soft, core tight right here. So keep those three in mind. We're gonna pull, get a nice little back fly right here for our pull on this section, okay? 12 reps, you guys ready? Set. Here we go. So pack those shoulders. Lead with the back. 
Squeeze. Get those rhomboids, traps, rear deltoids right here. Those these lovely bad boys. Nice work. How's those knees? Are they soft? All right, give me three more. You got it. Exhale that pull. Inhale back to center. And bring it down. Good work. Burn. All right. Cardio move. We got some jumping jack touchdowns. Now, how, I just thought of this. Every time we do a class together, Jeff, we have some sort of jack in there. Well, I'm always jumping, <laughs> so that's why we're jumping for joy. All right, so option one, we got a lateral squat, okay, with a reach, tap, reach down, okay. Option two, get that jumping jack in there and reach, okay. Hips back. There are, oh, I was going to do 30 seconds. We got 12 this first round. Ooh. All right, three, two, and go. So 12 total, no matter which option you choose. Time's almost up. Three, 
two, and one. Set that band down. Final set of jumping jack squats, okay? Four touchdowns. Remember, you can step, reach behind, okay? Or you can add that jumping jack in there with us. 30 seconds, final round. Three, two, and go. It helps if you got that smile on your face. It makes time go by faster. <laughs> not sure if that laugh goes or not, Jay. <laughs> it was completely legitimate, I promise to you. Jack, would you eat mad if I said I didn't start our time? Oh <laughs> my goodness. So I'm just guys, kidding. We're going to get some extra burn on this Four, one. Four, three, two, and one. Goodness. I'm just messing with you. Goodness. Woo! Not very nice. All right, so catch your breath here. Deep breaths in, get a little side movement here. We're gonna do a nice little core accumulator to finish this out today, okay? So let's head down to our mat. Let's burn that core. All right, so Jack, let's go. Let's go to the head here. All right, we're gonna start with some leg raises for 10 reps. So let's get in a great, wonderful, I'm gonna say great, but a wonderful neutral pelvis position. Tuck those hips back. Then we're bringing those legs straight to the air. Hands drop to the side, closer they are to your body, the harder it's gonna be, okay? So bring those arms out for some stability. You can alternate, you can do one leg at a time, or you can do both. So 10 total, no matter what, keep that back flat. So this is our first move. We've got 10 reps, then we're gonna take a break and add on a second piece here in just a little bit. So give me 10 leg raises, ready? Set, and go. Bring it down nice and easy to that lower core to work right here. Jack, I know you're working because I can see your feet in my peripheral vision. You better Woo! believe I'm working on it. <laughs> We're halfway. Woo! Don't lose that low back tilt, so keep it nice and strong. Last rep. And done. Awesome. Ooh, just keep that in mind when you guys do those leg raises. So we have a natural tendency to want to lift up and kind of overcompensate and use momentum to bring those legs up. We want this to be nice and controlled to really strengthen that pelvic core. Okay? So what we're going to add this time, so we're going to start out with the leg raises. Once we finish our 10, we've got a 20-second hollow hold. 20 seconds, hold right here. If that level is up to you. The higher the legs are, the little bit easier it's gonna be. So we're only adding two pieces here, okay? So we've got the leg raise plus the hollow hold, and then we'll have one more round. So go ahead and get those legs up for me. Get that hip back, nice and flat against the ground. Squeeze the core. 10 leg raises. Three, two, and go. Nice and easy. There it is. So remember, you can also take one leg down and set up two to get to your 10. Nice work. Last one. All right, for that hollow hole, you ready? Oh boy. 20 seconds, we can do this, Jack. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. The core tight, lift those arms above the head. Breathe it out. This is Breath a long 20 seconds. That whole core shake. Woo, we got it. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Woo, that's a good oh, burn off of those leg raises. All right, we just got one more add on. One more add on. Woo, and then we're going to stretch it out. So we're going to finish our add on here with some bicycles. 30 total. So we got 10 reps, 20 seconds, 30 reps. So that bicycle, we're alternating opposite shoulder, okay, towards opposite knee. So we're lifting that shoulder blade up and over, 30 reps. You also can do 15 with a leg crossed over on one side, 15 on the other, okay? This is our final round. We can do this. Let's go. Jack, I have faith in you. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, three, two, and one. The 10 leg raises. Remember, you can do that alternate leg like Jack's showing you, or you can do double legs. 
Pick your boys in here. Remember, take deep breaths in. Focus on that breathe. We want to make sure we're getting those muscles, that oxygen, as well as that blood flow. All right, hollow hold, 20 seconds. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Toughest move of the day. I agree with you, Coach. Woo! <laughs>
we miss you guys and hopefully we will see you guys on site for some classes we have amazing amount on site as well as some still great virtual options for you as well have a great day bye peace